Hi friends and happy Monday. This week I am so excited to share a special Central California spot that's a little extra special between the months of November and February. Join me at the Pismo Beach Monarch Butterfly Grove. If you're new here to Flying Dawn Marie, welcome. As a travel blogger, I share a new adventure every Monday on my website, flyingdawnmarie.com. And my YouTube videos bring you along with me for a virtual visit. So make sure to turn on notifications, like and subscribe, and let's explore together. If you've been following along on my adventures for a while, you know I love California's Central Coast. And the Pismo Beach Monarch Butterfly Grove is one of only five sites in the state of California that annually counts over 10,000 butterflies. The vibrant orange and black monarchs flock to Pismo State Beach from November to February seeking shelter from the freezing northern winter temperatures. The Western Monarchs that visit us here in Pismo Beach are a special generation because they migrate long distances in the winter and they have a lifespan of up to six months, uh, which is different from other monarchs that generally leave from two to six weeks. In fact, some scientists believe these monarchs are equipped with genetic homing systems that lead them from their summer sites back here to this winter location. If you visit the preserve early in the morning, you may notice some monarchs shivering on the ground. And that's because monarch butterflies are cold-blooded and their flight muscles must reach 55 degrees before they can fly. So after a cold night, they might have to warm up in the morning. When visiting this grove, you'll spend a lot of time looking up because the monarchs here cluster in the limbs of the towering eucalyptus trees. It's believed that these clusters may provide shelter from the rain and cold weather and that the weight of the clusters could keep the butterflies from blowing away in the wind. State Park System has provided binoculars and scopes to see these butterflies up close because from down below it can look like the clusters are just giant piles of dead leaves when really they are thousands of butterflies huddled together. The Pismo Monarch Colony is one of the largest in the nation and it's very important because Western Monarch butterfly populations have seen a decline of at least 90% in the last three decades. In fact, in recent years, the Western Monarch wintering population dropped in numbers to its lowest level ever recorded, less than 1% of the historic population. Now, migration is critical to the health of monarch butterflies and last year, the monarch numbers here grew to over 24,000 after a drop in recent years, which is a hopeful sign that the threatened monarchs can and are making a comeback.
on your visit, make sure to stop by the Monarch Trailer run by the State Parks Association. It's filled with books and helpful information to learn about the butterflies on your visit. Along with following all the Leave No Trace principles on your visit, make sure to watch for butterflies on the ground as you stroll the designated paths. And please don't disturb the butterfly clusters you see. To support the monarchs at home, you can consider planting monarch-friendly native nectaring plants and minimizing the use of herbicides and insecticides. Before your visit, I'd love to encourage you to check out the official Experience Pismo Beach Monarch Butterfly Grove website. I'll link it in my blog post. And while you're enjoying looking up at the monarchs, also take a moment to thank the rangers and the volunteers for their hard work so that we can enjoy this area. They are a wonderful wealth of information. Of course you want to respect the natural habitat and never intentionally touch a butterfly here, so I was certainly surprised when one just momentarily landed on me. Well, you don't want to disturb or touch the butterflies here you never know when they might be flying around so keep your eyes peeled and watch where you walk all throughout the grove there are wonderful interpretive panels that share fascinating information on the area and the monarchs that winter here You can enjoy a stroll around the Monarch Butterfly Globe and the Meadow Creek Trail, crossing the estuary out to the beach all in under a mile and a half. The Monarch Butterfly Grove parking area is located on the side of the road just off Highway 1, and you can walk this wonderful loop in under a tenth of a mile. Then continue on next to the campground down between Meadow Creek and Pismo Creek all the way to the ocean at Pismo State Beach. Now, just a mile south of here, you can enjoy the Oceano Dunes. And this is a beautiful area to visit, even if it's not butterfly season. If you walk to the north, you'll reach the famous Pismo Beach State Pier in just a mile. And this is the perfect spot for watching morning surfers. And less than two miles north of the pier is a personal favorite spot of mine, the Pismo Dinosaur Caves. And you can see my full YouTube video linked here for more details on that area. Here, the current Monarch numbers heading into December this year are already reaching over 16,000. So now is a great time to visit. And hopefully these numbers are a great indication that this year's population will be even larger than last year. But the butterflies will be flying away in February. So if you want to see them for yourself, I plan my visit in the next month or so, or you'll have to wait until next November to see them again. Thank you so much for joining me this week in Pismo. And for more information on the Monarch Butterfly Preserve, make sure to check out my full blog post at flyingdawnmarie.com. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And until next week, I hope you find adventure and encouragement wherever you go. Bye.